Alright, y'all, how's it going, everyone? It is Eric here. Welcome back to another Beastworm Simulator video. And in this one, I will be going over the ultimate mid game to end game guide. So, if you're mid game around the top shop, I will be discussing how you can get yourself to end game as fast as possible. And, you know, what to do, what order of things you should be doing. And yeah, if you do enjoy this video, you know, drop a like, subscribe with the post notes on. It really does help support my channel. And yeah, let's get right into it. And yeah, feel free to skip to any part of the video of which I'm talking about. Okay, so first things first, I have to explain what mid-game is. In my opinion, mid-game is where you have everything in the ace shop, you're starting to understand how the game actually works, how boosting works, how wins work, how the win shrine, donating stuff works. But the majority of Beast One players like thinking that the top shop, it's like mid-game, so I'll just go off that. If you don't think this uh, top bear shop is not mid-game, you know, just... You know, I'll get to the part where you're curious about, so... Yeah, let's just start with the top air. So in the top air, you have all these different tools. In my opinion, uh, do not buy either of these tools. I didn't, uh, I just saved up for the porcelain dipper right here. But basically, all these, uh, things, other than the spark stuff and golden rake, they're pretty good. I guess the golden rake, it's pretty decent, so if you want to buy it. But the spark stuff, it's a no. Don't buy it, it's so bad. 5 slots, self-explanatory. If you have honey in mid-game, just buy it. Okay, so basically, um, these boots, the mask, the Mondo belt bag, the porcelain dipper, and the porcelain port hive you want to buy all of this. And also, buy the glider, because it's the best thing for transportation, in my opinion, around the map, because you will rarely ever have a lot of speed. Maybe you will, but in my opinion, in endgame, everyone just uses the glider to travel. So make sure you buy it. It's very cheap. It's only 5 million honey, and, you know... If you have enough honey for it, go for it. All these other tools are also self-explanatory. You're gonna have all these boots and all these masks for a while until you get the honey mask, until you get, like, the cocoa boots. So, yeah, basically a bunch of these tools right here on this little shelf. And the next, uh, basically, level or the next better version of them is gonna be in the ace shop right here. So let's just move on to there. So, moving on to the ace shop, I will recommend you save up for the honey mask first. In my opinion, you should be saving up all your resources in mid-game. Golden eggs, you should have a couple from beer quests, and if you don't, just buy them with tickets. Unless you don't have event fees. In my opinion, just figure out what you want to do for yourself. I would recommend you buy the honey mask very much, because it's a very good mask. It gives you a bunch of good buffs that you can see up here. And it's a massive investment. And the reason you're gonna want to spend some tickets on honey mask is because... It's gonna be a while until you get the next mask upgrade, which is gonna be the gummy mask over there, which I'll get into. Oh yeah, so after you buy the honey mask, I will recommend you get the honeycomb belt because uh, since the honeycomb belt, your next upgrade will be the petal belt, which is, once again, it's going to be a very, very long time until you are able to buy that. So you're going to have this honeycomb belt for a while. And yeah, once again, it gives you a bunch of good stuff. Convert amount, buzz bump on, honey tokens. I'm not going to read everything, but yeah. Moving on, uh, around the time that you bought honey mask, you should have bought enough hive slots to get to the 35b area and with the 35b area you unlock spear bear quests and the one shrine and also around that time you should be grinding the spear bear quests for the spear petals and the next thing you're going to want to do is buy the petal wand petal wand is going to be a very good tool it's basically going to be the tool you're with for most of your beast storm career you're going to be using it so so much i still have it even with over one quadrillion lifetime honey you know i I'm using this thing, unfortunately. So yeah, you're going to be using this thing for a very, very long time. And around the time you buy the petal planter, you're going to want uh, to start investing in some planters. So the planters you're going to want to buy, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, by the way. So what you're going to want to buy is the candy planter, the tacky planter, and the pesticide planter if you are able to afford it. I would not recommend you spend resources crafting if you don't have enough for them. But planters and nectars are going to be very, very important to, you know, grind all these resources and mats and nectars and honey. You, you want to have a bunch of these. Also the red clay and the blue clay planter and the red and blue shoe. They're also very good, so if you have enough for them, just buy them. But yeah, basically around this time, you should also have a vicious bee, so you should be saving all your singers for vicious bee if you don't have it. And if you do have it, you should still be saving your singers for uh, two things the crimson cobalt guards and the demon mask over there in the little uh, demon cave yeah so around the same time you wanna you know buy the cobalt and crimson guards which are currently the best guards in the game and every pro uses them because they're the best option 
So next, after you buy the Crimson Cobalt Guards, you're gonna wanna go inside this gummy layer and buy yourself the gummy mask because it's so good. And once again, it's one of the three best masks, but in my opinion, it's the best mask for passive grinding and best mask for mixed type color. And if you have gummy beef for yourself as well, it's so good. It's just massive, good synergy going on with a mask and the bee. Get like the goo thing around the field, it's so insane. After you copy yourself the beautiful gummy mask, make sure you go over to the coconut shop once more and copy yourself the coconut cancer because it is the best backpack inside the game currently. It's so good. It's the best backpack. All the pros use it. It's once again, so insane. And it's not even that expensive. It's only like uh, 25 billion honey. And the resources might seem uh, very expensive, but it doesn't take any blue, I don't think. The hardest thing that you might think in the purchase is the tropical drinks, but it's really not. The tropical drinks are so free to get. I have like almost a thousand. All you have to do is just kill the crab regularly, which once again might seem like a hassle, but it's really not once you master killing the crab. After you purchase yourself the beautiful coconut cancer, you're gonna wanna head over to the one shrine and donate to the one shrine your second spirit petal. Because spirit petal, it's so good. Or for three reasons, you can get two tools, and you can get yourself a Windy Bee from it. If you guys don't know how the Windy Bee system works, basically, I might make a video on it since so many people get confused. But pretty much all you have to do is donate a Spirit Battle to the One Shrine, and then donate vials to the One Shrine as well. So every single vial you donate, you have a chance of getting Windy Bee, and the more you donate, the more higher of a chance you have to get it. So you want to start doing it sooner than later, because you definitely don't want to put off getting the best bee in the game. I feel like Windy Bee is one of the best bees in the game, in my opinion, just because it's so versatile and you do it in every single hive color. Overall, very solid bee. After you donate your spirit petal to the one shrine, you're gonna wanna head over to the coconut shop once more and cop yourself the coconut clogs. And the reason you're gonna wanna buy them is because one reason, they're very cheap for how good they are, and the second is you're gonna have them for a very long time until you cop yourself the gummy boots we'll talk about as well. Obviously, gummy boots are much better than coconut clogs, but it's gonna be a long time until you get those. And after you get yourself the coconut clogs, you're gonna wanna head over to the Ace Shop and buy yourself the Supreme Saturator. And keep in mind, you don't have to do all this in the exact order that I say, but it's just how most people do it, and it's just a suggestion from me. Yeah, just buy the Supreme Saturator. Very good. Luckily, it doesn't cost any resources, just honey. So if you have spare honey lying around, make sure you buy it. Make sure it's not just sitting in your account. You're not using it on something as useful as the Supreme Saturator. So after you get that, you're going to want to buy yourself one of the two masks. Maybe even both if you have enough resources. So yeah, you're going to want to buy yourself the Demon Mask or the Diamond Mask. In my opinion, Demon is so much better because if you're only buying Demon Mask or Diamond Mask, you're still considered mid-game, early to mid-mid-game. But yeah, so in my opinion, Demon Mask is much more versatile for, for AFKing some snail and, you know, just doing ant challenges and stick bugs. Because it gives you a massive damage buffs. And Gummy Mask is very versatile for farming and being a mixed hive color. So yeah, that's the reason you're going to want to buy Demon Mask in my opinion. But basically, do whatever you want. You know, it's a game. You're supposed to have fun, after all. Not very fun with no updates, but you know, it's whatever. Yeah, after you buy yourself either mask, you're gonna want to buy yourself the Oris tier mask. So basically, if you bought the Diamond Mask, for example, you're gonna want to buy yourself the Bubble Mask because it's, you know, it gives you a passive thing. Yeah, Bubble Bombs, it's a passive, it stacks onto the Diamond Mask as well. And if you bought the Demon Mask, obviously buy the Fire Mask, it also gives you like some flame passive. Very good. And at the level that you are, you should be around the stage of completing the 30th Spirit Bear quest and getting yourself the Petal Belt. Petal Belt is the best belt inside the game at the moment. It gives you a bunch of insane buffs, like look at all this. Who doesn't want these buffs? And yeah. And around the same time, uh, or a bit after you do that, you should have enough for gummy boots. And if you don't, you should be saving all your glues because you can't be an endgame player without gummy boots. They're so important. They're so good for every single hive color. And yeah, for me, personally, it took around a month to get it. But, you know, at, at the end, if you still play the game, it's very worth it. They're, like, such a good item. And yeah, basically, the hardest thing is probably glue or glitter. The extracts shouldn't be too hard. And moving on to the final two parts, this is getting a bit out of mid-game. 
and this is getting too in-game, but I'll just mention it. You're gonna want to buy yourself one of the three new tools, so the Gummy Baller, Tide Popper, and the uh, Scythe right here. If you do that, congrats to you, you're pretty much in-game, you're one of the top players inside the whole game. And then you're gonna want to cop the plants here plenty, you know, it's very good. You're like, I think only like two or three people in the world have it, but you know, if you have enough for one of these tools, you might as well have enough for the plant here plenty. And yeah, I did leave the mid-game stage a little, but you know, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and this helped you out at least a little bit. Yeah, if you guys agree or disagree with anything I said in this video, you know, drop a comment, uh, tell me on Discord or something, I don't know, tell me on Twitter. I do love reading all the comments, so you know, just drop one for any reason. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.